Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations where another Cyclock meets us. What was Pearl doing the night of the crime? Well we do not know because at the moment I'm not sure we have anything related to Pearl to be able to break that. Let's put it that way. But she's lost her powers as we move on. At the end of last episode we kind of decided maybe it would be better to visit Bikini but continue the conversation that we were having before the earthquake interrupted us. So with that said... Let's get moving. I wonder if Sister Bikini is back at the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. I bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. Really? Well, Maggie's... That's Maggie's. As if Maggie wants it. What are you so het up about now? Well, what's the damage? How is the sacred cavern? It looks like it survived, but we have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it, about the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who? Who could have done that? The only person who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Crane Tradition. We have Iris at the sacred cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Sister Bikini. Oh yes, we were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes, you were telling me how the Master of Corain disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Faye suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago, when Mystic Elise, no I mean Mystic Misty, arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was a master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the Crane Tradition's main family line. I'm here to put a stop to them. How did you find out that? Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There was only one heir to the title of Master at any time and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new Master Crane and her daughters the main family. All of the mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. And that's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have, and always will, plot to erase those of the main family line. Is the power of the Master worth this much bloodshed? Well, is the talisman worth that much bloodshed, in a sense? What well, denotes the power of the Master? It's just a title, isn't it? You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. It's been two years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. The dead being highlighted though is interesting, during the Master Mask case, and during Maggie Bird's trial too. Because it's like, a thing we know, we just naturally know. But why highlight it now? Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. The Korean technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. That's true psychic powers, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but with all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Oh, <laughs> you're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. A mistake? What mistake? We know what mistake this is. It was 17 years ago, that's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. That incident? Is she talking about what I think she is? I'm sure the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 Incident. That's the name of the file. The DL6 Incident. I knew it. Alright then. A refresher, eh? The DL6 Incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just two years ago. Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fay, Mayor's mother. Through Mystic, Mystic Misties, I was going to say Mystic Maya straight away, channeling, 
The name of the certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man... He was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right. He was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Crane tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media. The public, the judiciary, the people of Crane Village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Misty Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared. Vanished. While everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Misty Fay's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Crane tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan. Does she mean Maya? Right, the family feud. Coming back to something that's been weighing over us for a while. In fact, is this the outcome of that? Morgan Fay. This can only be her plan at this point, if it's bringing us back to this. What is going on? The spiritual power of the crane channeling technique is in the blood. You may have told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Ami. With each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. And you know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life. As a result feels like everything's spiralling into each other. You know what Mystic Mia is rumoured to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mum and her aunt. And that's right, Misty Faye had an elder sister too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Morgan. There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Crane Village. What she did was terrible. It was all so she could make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realised that Iris... Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is... Mystic Morgan's daughter. Wait. But sh So she's definitely not Dahlia, but she has no powers, but... Pearl's her daughter... But she looks like a spitting image of Dahlia. So she's not Dahlia? Or it could still be another name, but they're part of the Hawthorne family. What's going on? What? Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Okay. Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Fay's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. It sounded like you'd met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yes, Pearls. Pearl Fay. But I always thought she was an only child. You jest. That child, she's Mystic Morgan's? I had no idea. Mystic Morgan. But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yeah, ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. It 
It's all done to set Pearls up as the next master. I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three, three daughters, not two? So that... I mean, if you're looking by exact spitting images of people... Then that means that Iris is definitely not Dahlia. But Dahlia... Is the daughter of Morgan Fay? Would that be right? They're twins. Like they they look too alike to not be twins. Identical twins. So wait, or more or less. So that's M Iris, Dahlia, and Pearl. What? Okay, so was Dahlia adopted into the Hawthorns? I guess they didn't look very much alike, which is also probably why, you know, everything went pear-shaped to the bridge. But still, why come do that Dahlia at the place where Iris was, if Iris has been here all that time as well? What is going on? Wait, what? Free? Yes, Iris, twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. A twin, indeed. What? T twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. After the clan leadership was taken from her by a sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later that Corrine's reputation hit an all-time low. But Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master. He left her and the village, taking their twin daughters with him. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. He decided to give one of his girls up, to be looked after by us here at the temple. That was Iris, you see. It's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister... Could it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris' sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm, a jeweler. Thank you very much. You've helped clear up a lot of details. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt about it. No, well, no doubt. It was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughters were taken from her by her jeweler husband. So the jeweler husband had another daughter or daughter by marriage, which was the police officer daughter. Or adopted, I don't know, the Hawthorne family, and then went by his name, which might have been Hawthorne. Which leaves Iris being abandoned here. Maybe because she had no power? I don't know. And then Pearl was either already born, or still just date? I don't know. This is confusing timeline now. But even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan, which left it all on Pearl. That's why she had pearls. It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. It was able to break free of the bars the confiner. So Iris is a twin sister. The plot thickens. But this information will be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions and get some more info! Right, but not from you. Well, I'd say we probably might have some sight lock breakers at this point in time. But let's follow the flow of the case. And why I'm saying the flow of the case is it's literally sending us back and forth in order. Which would mean the courtyard should be visited before I go backwards, just in case anything's going on here. Who's this? There's definitely someone here, at least. Sounds like someone's happy. What tune is that they're humming? Where comes you? No motive, no crime, no motive, no crime. Sing it with me, no motive, no crime. I remember when we used to search in the challenge room in Korean. Woo, I love my job. Who cares if the clues are fine or no good? 
That's not what investigating is all about, pal. You investigate, investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion, you foolish, you foolish fool. Good cases we have, good cases we lost along the way. I would have never guessed the gumshoe was into reggae. What's well, reggae tune, is it? Okay, I kind of messed that up. Every case is gonna be airtight. <laughs> Every case is gonna be airtight. Hey, pal. <laughs> Oh, don't mess with my accents anymore. I'll laugh to the sky and away from the mic. Huh? Who? Me? How long have you been there? Yep, you killed the accents. Every accent's dead now. Every voice is dead. I just got here. Oh, okay. So what are you up to, detective? I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. The real murder weapon? That barb sword thing turned out to be a false leave, right? I'm giving it my best shot here, but I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. A letter? A letter? Tell me more. What is your letter? Oh, I clicked the investigation instead. So how's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal. But I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. And they're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? You mean? I don't have the details, pal. All I know is if you don't find Mayor down that sacred cabin, we're going to be faced with one ugly situation. Remembering the fact that someone's targeting the main line of the phase means that framing her would be a great idea too. Again. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? You got me. I don't know. They're not my words, pal. And who said it? Mr. Godot. Godot? What did he mean by that? Tell me more. Tell me more. About that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. I'm bursting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. And all I find is some burnt up old letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah. It was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. The incinerator? I looked there. Did you take it beforehand? I knew it! I knew I wasn't imagining it! There was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it! But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. What's up with you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to take a look. C can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I'll bet it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums? Right, what's it say? It's got to be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. I'd better give it a good looking over and some serious thought. Right, let's give it a look right now then. Found by Gumshoe in the inner temple incinerator. Be careful. Once night falls, should be there. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel the spirit. Leave everything up to her. Her name is... She is our... The whole... Here's a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is... Burn that... Also make... Tell anyone about this letter. Also make sure you don't tell anyone about this letter is pretty much what that is. Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. What on earth? Make sure you chuck in the trash when you're done. Litton's a crime, pal. No, it's you don't understand, do you? That's really good. So what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the Shichishito that was found impaled on the victim's body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, it must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now, huh? Yeah. And man, is it tiring work. But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? What is your secret weapon, Mr. Gumshoe? What's the secret weapon of yours? You want to know? You've got to think scientifically, okay? Alright. The murder weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No, I know what he's gonna say, but I'll let him look smart. A metal detector, isn't it? 
So what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. We've used one before. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. Well, you want to give scientific investigation a go? Huh? M me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? So we've got ourselves a metal detector, and we're going to be using it around the compound. Something tells me we will find something. But we'll probably find that next episode. Join us then as pretty much tons of reveal has actually happened. Tons of cases link into this one. It's ridiculous. But the well, Phoenix Wright is. So I'll see ya. Bye-bye.